Generally, over the years, the tech, technological changes have, have, have changed so much of what we're capable of doing, not only in the instrumentation I use, but also in the, in the, um, in the broadcast equipment, the cameras, and, and now going high def. Um, but most of the same principles still apply. It's just what's changed is, is the way you know, the way we use color, the intensities we use, the um, uh, maybe we're, we're certainly allowed to be a lot more um, risky, you know, and with the and blinding lights and everything else. But, um, and so the Oscars, in truth, though, it, it has not changed a huge amount. I mean, the number one number one job on the Oscars is making sure that those people look good when they walk up to that microphone. They, they want to see the dresses and they generally want to look like movie stars. And it's one task to do that when they're on the stage, but it's another when they're in the house. And it's very difficult to get flattering light to all those different positions throughout the uh, audience there. Um, but you know, it's uh, yeah, the Oscars has really not changed a huge amount. Where are you normally located during the telecast? Uh, during the in the broadcast booth with the director. And are you queuing people? How are what, are, what yes, is your we, function? Yes, uh, we. Um, I used to do it directly. Now I find the shows are so complex that um, I actually have an assistant that that reads out the cues and and I'll give the making decisions, color, whatever, whatever. And um, they record those cues on several computer boards. And then, um, and then we use manned follow spots to follow people around in, in a show like the Oscars. Um, <clears throat> and then the, um, uh, we write these cues and, um, and during the course of the show by following the script, or counting the bars of music or whatever, we'll, uh, we'll give the go to execute the cues. And um, it's, it's, you know, it's the only way you can really do it. You can't sort of fake these shows. You, they have to be really manicured. But by the time it goes on the air, do you feel that the show is pretty much, it's, it's very predictable and you're, and you're not gonna have a lot of overriding to do or anything like that? You know, it, it, that's, that is your foundation, but they're live shows. And it's really a thrilling environment to work in. I mean, if you ever get a chance to go into a broadcast uh, booth during a live show of, say, an award show or a music show, and it, it, it looks to be, it's like bedlam. It, it, it's as though um, everyone, everything looks at first glance like a, uh, there, there's a giant problem. Everyone's talking at once. Um, there are people talking in raised voices. There, there, there's urgent communications going on. But it's really this controlled chaos that is the norm for these, these productions. And we all have to communicate. <clears throat> and um, you learn to just turn down the the. the the sort of roar that's around you and just listen for the occasional piece of information that's directed to you. Um, and, but it's really thrilling and things happen.